Hey, my Tea Party Squad. Welcome back to my channel. So you guys, I finally set up my 2021 catch-all planner, or sometimes I like to call this like my household management planner. And I wanted to go ahead and do a flip through of my 2021 catch-all setup planner. Now, as I'm flipping through um, each of the pages, I will be letting you know how I will be using each of the sections and how I'm going to be planning in those sections as well. So I hope that you find my setup helpful and it also motivates you to go ahead and start planning and setting up for 2021. So the cover for my catch-all planner is actually a frosted um, cover from Pleasantly Planned. And I actually did a switcheroo on my covers. I took off this cover from my 2021 social media planner and I placed it on this and then gave my social media planner a whole new cover, which you'll see in the planner lineup. So I did that and then I also have Black Metal Disc by the Happy Planner on here. And I just love their metal discs. It's just, I just love them. And then in the inside, I do have my 2021 um, calendar overview and I actually print this on some vellum paper which was a printable um, by plan with B on Instagram and I'll actually put all of her information below if you want to get one of these as well and I, this is actually an A5 size and I just resized it to fit the classic and then I just trimmed down extra pieces so that it can fit in here perfectly and then all of my dividers which I have um, crystal clear um, divider tabs that are top loaded tabs and I actually got a home section a calendar section a budget section and a list section within this catch-all um, planner and I actually got these dividers from pleasantly planned as well you guys I'm loving these clear dividers okay so this is what I'm really excited about one of my friends on Instagram which is orchestrated plans also known as Symphony on Instagram, she actually made this beautiful dashboard for me with my favorite flowers, which are these beautiful hibiscus plants. And then she put my name in here and just decorated it beautifully. And so I had to put this in here because it looks gorgeous. And so she also did the back, which I'll probably just leave it as it is, but I love it. So in the section of my home planner, I did include um, my cleaning routine also my zone cleaning all of those things um, that I can have at a glance while I'm going through my planner and so this actually came from not mad about it Etsy shop I will also put the link down below if you want to check out that um, I was going to create my own cleaning list but then when I came across this it was perfect for what I want and it just saved me time to just go ahead and just print this out cut it down and place it in my planner so it saved me a lot of time um, instead of trying to create one um, it had a lot of the things that I wanted to do anyway and, and you know have some particular orders as far as what I wanted to do as my daily weekly monthly quarterly and yearly um, routine it just was perfect so I printed that off and included that in here I didn't do anything on the back which I'll probably do like some extra little notes or something um, and so after that is my home zones where I'm doing my zone cleanings and these printouts you'll see as I flip through um, going forward. These are all from Fancy Plans. You guys, I love her home management um, collection that she has on her shop and I just thought this would be perfect. So what I did is actually went ahead and print this off. Um, at home, cut it down to size, and then I just went in and then printed off our floor plan so I can place it there so it can be exact floor plan of our home instead of taking the time to draw it out, that sort of thing. And then I can list all my zones and the rooms that I want to clean. And so here are what the um, home management section looks like. So on the back of that, you get a daily cleaning task. I do have just one sheet of that. Um, and then I will list all of my zones and the areas that I want to clean. And then she also includes a zone checklist, which I think is going to be super helpful for me. And I not only will have one in my planner, but I will also have one um, down in our kitchen area where we kind of, you know, have our little, we have our little calendar area in that section. And I will place that here as well so that everyone knows um, what zones to clean on what day. And so I have a few pages of those. And then next here, she do have a home zones breakdown. And so because, because my house is a two level home, I will have a section here. I will just have my first floor here and then a second floor. And then I also include an extra page just in case 
I make a mistake or I may want to redo it, I have an extra page just kind of nearby. And then also cleaning schedule, also by Fancy Plans. I just love these. It's just super helpful. And yeah, so to break that up, I do have another um, divider by my friend um, Symphony, who also made this for me as well. I divided this with this dashboard for my grocery list and also trying to get better at meal planning consistently because I have been falling off. And so this actually, this um, insert actually came from the Happy Planner. Had They had a household um, extension pack. And so this came out of that and I just took those pages out. I have about 10 pages, but they are um, two pages. So you'll get your meal plan here. You get some grocery list on the side and then you have your snacks and recipe prep, all that on this on the next page so I have 10 pages of those and then I also have some Cornell notes and I was thinking about maybe doing maybe some meal planning or recipe planning in this and using this type of Cornell notes as part of my recipe planning and I just have a few pages of that and so right after that is my calendar tab and this is going to be going into my vertical happy planner layout so again my calendar um, divider came from Pleasantly Plan, and my friend Orchestrated Plans actually created this beautiful glitter dashboard for me as well. And so I wanted to have just like a little, a little shimmer to my planner. And so this is something new for me with the glitter dashboard, but I'm loving it so far. And I don't know if you can see she, you guys. She included my name on here as well. And then that's how the back looks. It looks so cute. All right, and so I only have, um. Well, I'm actually going to be taking some out. I want it only to have three months at a time in here because I want to do it by the season. And so what I have here is January, February, and March. I think I might take out April, May, and June. But for right now, I do have the Happy Planner. Um, this is one of their custom... Um, customized planners where you get to pick the um, cover the layout and the disc and so I love that it was a little neutral to my liking and I wanted to switch it up because I actually was using the vertical layout um, for 2020 as my social media but I'm going to change that and I'm going to be using this layout for my um, catch-all and my household planner and within this I'm going to be keeping up with like doctor's appointments um, cleaning schedule. I'm going to find an area maybe down here to do like wellness and fitness and possibly putting in some self-care here. Um, and then other things I need to do like bills I may put here or somewhere here, but I will, I will see. I'm still toying with the idea and trying to figure out how I really want to utilize as much space, um, on here and with this planner. This is actually a happy planner, um, dashboard here that says plan your dreams. And I just placed one of pleasantly plans little, um, this week's um, labels here um, just so that I can move it around um, for the weeks and it's easy for me to turn to that specific week that I want to you know that I'm currently planning in so yeah so this is what the vertical happy planner layout looks like and again I'm only going to do three months at a time um, so I will be taking out maybe April May and June but I have it already set for 2021 which I absolutely love that I already have that set so going on is my next section, the budget section. And again, these came from Pleasantly Planned as well as her budget label. And um, I actually took this out of the Happy Planner. They actually have like card stock for like um, memory keeping. And so I took out one of these um, card stocks and they were actually made for the big. But if you size it just right, you can cut off the extra pieces at the bottom and you can make it fit for the classic size. So that's what I did. And I just wanted to add a little shimmer of the gold based on or taking it, taking or matching it with my glitter dashboard that I have back here. So I added that and then that's what the back looks like. And so I'm going to be using the Savvy Saver. Um, budget edition in my um, catch-all or my home management section and I want to use that one um, because I also have another one which I have the know your worth um, budget edition which I absolutely love as well um, but I still have I still wanted to utilize and break up my budgets from my home from social media and that sort of thing and then other incomes that I have coming in 
I wanted to separate those. So that's why I got two budget edition um, planners. But I'm going to be using those. And I have been using it for 2020. And so I want to still carry it on for 2021. Because here I do have a bill schedule where I, I use like color coding systems. And so because I've been using it for 2020, it does carry over to January of 2021. So I do have January, February, March, and April here. So I may keep in April just because. And then I'm just keeping up with like all of my debt repayment, clearing those up, which I'm already done with those. So I'm excited. Um, this is a folder pocket that also came with the um savvy saver or the budget extension pack and i just want to include that just to kind of hold some stickers like this right here and maybe like some bills that i don't want to forget and i need to pay i just want to kind of keep it at at hand i want to do that and have that here now i also printed off some of these income trackers i absolutely love these income trackers you guys i actually got this from i believe it was an etsy shop um it was Corey B principles and so I printed off this and this is where I'm going to be writing down all of my income tracking from affiliates um, affiliate income and um, YouTube that sort of thing I want to keep a track of that and be better and consistent with that so I want to put that in here as well as part of like my budget section and then it does come two-sided so you get your date income description the amount and then the category and any other extra notes and so next i have a subscription tracker also by corey b principles and i love this because i get to keep a track of all of what i'm subscribed to either it's from a um, subscription box that i absolutely love like simply gilded also paper that sort of thing i want to keep a track of that and also like the websites and sometimes i do forget my password y'all so i want to make sure i write those down and also write down like the cost so that way i'm wanting to i want to be more consistent with keeping up with my budget and making sure um, I have everything in place and organized. So keeping this, it will be very helpful for me. And I feel like I want to keep this in my, my budget section because I also will be able to kind of flip through this to see when certain bills are due and how much they cost. So that way I can flip back to my budget section and place those in there. Um, this is also a little savings or a motivation um, dashboard that came out of the Savvy Saver um, budget edition pack extension pack as well i included this because i do want to make um, some um, budget goals in here at least three budget goals here and then things that are going to motivate me to do that and then on the back of this which i thought was really good is that they have a savings jar and i actually moved this because that black folder here was behind this and so it gave that black mark there which i don't like but yeah um, so moving on, this is still part of the budget section and this is the monthly and weekly section of my budget um, section. I still have to go in and go ahead and date and set it up and everything. Um, but this is what the monthly of the Savvy Saver planner looks like. And then you have all of your income overview here. And then they also give you a savings tracker and accounts and debts that you want to keep a track of as well. And then also some weekly expenses. So um, I do have two months of those in here, which I might end up putting in three because everything I want to have three sections of. So, yeah, so that's that. And then. All right. And so on the back of this, I did include some note um, pages in here just to kind of just jot down some things. If I need it, I have it near. And then the last section of my catch all is going to be my list section. And um, I also took out this um cardstock paper from the happy planner uh, memory keeping um cardstock pack and i just trimmed it down to size and included this as my dashboard to divide that section up but behind the list i do have my contacts um list and i just thought it'd be very helpful to kind of keep a track of certain things um as far as like different companies, I may want to remember like names and numbers, emails or websites, those sort of things. I'll have this also at hand, um, especially with like pest control, keeping up with like household things. I want to write those down too as well um, to keep in here. And then I also got this printable from B, um, Corey B Principles. And then lastly, I do have a password log, you guys. I think this is going to be very helpful for me. I'm a little apprehensive about this 
putting it in here but this planner is going to be at home on my desk um so i'm not even worried about it i probably very rarely will take this with me um but if i do take it out just for my my anxiety level i may end up just taking this out so that i don't have to worry about it being missed and lost and then everybody someone has access to everything but i do want to keep this in here to keep a track of like our um direct tv the username password for like netflix disney plus that sort of thing um even in like our email i want to keep a track of that as, as well because i do change that um um, every three months to six months and so I do want to keep a track of when I change it and what it is so yes so I did include that as well and I believe this also came from Corey B principles as well but if not I will put everything down in the description box below so that is a flip through of my catch-all for 2021 my setup for that and how I'm setting it up and then my planner is actually going to be dressed in this beautiful luxury no teak ringless cover which i also have a flip through and an unboxing of that in here and you guys i just love this this is so sophisticated and i just love it i love everything about it and i think it goes very well with what how i'm doing things and it goes well with like my beautiful dashboard here do y'all see this oh my gosh so i did include my pen that i actually put in my social media planner i did move it because i am going to be ordering some more of these these are um top paper co um fine tip gel pen and this writes beautiful oh my gosh so i will be putting that here i don't know if you saw that put that right there in my little pen loop of uh, my notique and i'm still trying to figure out how to like dress my pocket area up so i'm not really um an expert on that so if you have like any tips or etsy shops that i can buy cute little accessories to kind of beautify my little pocket um swag area here please let me know but the only thing that i did was add in some pleasantly plan um matte dots that i want to do some color coding with and so i do have like a soft blush color and then a gray color in here i just thought i just think that it goes up very well with that so i do have that in the pockets and then my friend symphony that made my beautiful dividers she also made this with my name decal on there and she wrapped it in like this beautiful white dolly and then put my name on this cute, cute pink tag and i just thought i'd place it there because it has my name on it and then i'm going to be putting in these um sticky notes that has beautiful color blocks or minimalistic color blocks on here. I'm going to be using these sticky notes as well to place in my pockets um, just to kind of write down some things I need to do or maybe like some thoughts that I don't want to forget. Um, I will be putting that in there. And then I also have some more um, labels from Pleasantly Plan. So if I want to move some um, tabs around or add some tabs or dividers, I will be able to do that and then place the labels on there. But I think I will be placing some more stickers and some other stuff in the back of that. But all in all, that is my current setup of my 2021 catch-all or my home management planner. And so I hope you guys are excited about seeing how I'm going to be planning going forward for 2021. So let me know what you are most looking forward to for 2021 down in the comments below. And if you are new here, hello and welcome. I do hope that you enjoyed my 2021 planner set up and I hope that it motivates you to go ahead and get started setting up and planning for 2021. So I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.